My father was an AMCAP and a gamer. We'll do the rest when you get back. You had sex with EDP 445 and you burnt down a Walmart? You need to kill yourself, bitch! Fuck you! We all have things that piss us off in life. For example, drugs, bullies, and even hard to control children. I can ignore all of these things, but if there's one thing that really gets on my mind, it's these unfunny Omegle comedians who have some of the shittiest content styles to grace this platform. Now I don't need to explain what Omegle.com is, it's it's basically this website where like, you know, you can connect with a random person on camera and then have a chat with them for like two minutes or something, I, I don't know, I, I used it a few years ago. But as of last year, Omegle has been attracting a new kind of audience, a, a new type of user base. And that audience are, are YouTubers who essentially want to go onto Omegle and record themselves trolling people. Now, Omegle trolling has been a thing for years, it's been on the platform since like 2010 or something, but this new wave of Omegle trolling creators is, it, it's just shit, I'm gonna be honest. Now I'm not gonna name any names, but I'll, I'll just play some clips that I found on YouTube of these videos, and assuming you already don't pick up on how bad the content is, I'll just explain what makes these videos so bad. Hey yo, what you- what room is that? Oh, uh, it's one of the rooms in my basement right now. But that should look creepy. Yeah, all we have is just like a TV and then a massage chair and then a table and that's all. Uh, let me see the table. It got- that's a- that's a tissue? That's a box of tissues on the- on the table? Yeah. And then you say you got a massage chair and a TV? Yeah. What the hell y'all be doing downstairs in the basement? I don't know. Yo, your dad come down there a lot or something? Yeah, everybody in our- Hey, yo! Got the box of tissues on the table? No! Just the tissue? And a massage chair? I'm gonna fucking get it in the nut room. That was the nut room. Hell yeah, it was the nut room. The fuck? Hello. Yo, 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 so is that called the nut room? Can I just see that one more time? Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. The the videos are unfunny. Like, there there's nothing more to it. Like, they, they repeat the same jokes every, every like, five minutes. You are what? a dog man. What? <laughs> you are a full-grown man. What? You should know not to harass what? children. What? What? Who are you cosplaying? Yakuya Togami. Really? Yeah. You know what's crazy about that? Mm. I don't give a shit. Who are you cosplaying? Peanut to show you? Really? I don't give a shit. Like, I, I swear, the amount of times I've seen these people just say, who cares, who asked, whatever, like, it, it's boring. Like, it, it gets boring after the second time. Like, wow, you baited someone into falling for your repetitive joke. You are such a comedic genius. Now, all jokes aside, I, I would actually sit through five hours of Chase Witherspoon screaming into the camera than see this shit. Like, essentially, it's the same thing, but at least Chase is entertaining. Let that sink in. Chase Witherspoon is more entertaining than these Omegle comedians. Alright, so another issue I have with these guys, and uh, just, just stick with me here because this point does go a bit deep. But I feel that, you know, a, a lot of these channels, these trolling channels, rely heavily on the presence of semi-attractive women to keep their channels functioning. Now for this one, I'm, I'm gonna name drop a few people because this, this goes a bit, like, this rabbit hole goes a bit deep. So people like Dazed Woozy and this guy called Zars, which, oh, oh my, oh my god. Oh my, what the f- You know, I, I think it's safe to say that these guys have some of the most exploitively clickbaity thumbnails and maybe titles too on the other side, but mostly thumbnails. I feel almost as if it's a recurring theme for, you know, a lot of these YouTubers to really seek out like 14 year old emo girls, not in a, not in a like weird sexual way or anything like that, but just to like use them for content because honestly, that's, that's the most stereotypical version of someone who would fit better into their type of trolling content. Now, I'm not saying that they do this, like, you know, weirdly or anything. Uh, no, absolutely not. But still, nevertheless, it's it's very exploitative and it, it just very, very shitty in general. It makes your channel look like a heap of shit. Alright, so in conclusion, all these Omegle trolling YouTubers that I managed to find somehow all managed to encapsulate some of the most shittiest, repetitive, and most generic videos on this entire
entire platform. Essentially, if it wouldn't have been for their ability to repeat and recycle the same jokes to the same 14-year-old emo kids on Omegle, then I don't think that these people would have a lick of the subscriber base that they currently have.